Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, identify the letter names of the treble clef. Just remember, treble clef is for high voices or high pitched instruments, or if you play piano, it's the right hand. Your right hand usually plays kind of the mid to higher notes on the piano. So that's how you can remember what that treble clef is. It's for higher notes usually. And then in the next video, I'm gonna show you how to draw and figure out bass clef notes. All right, here we go. Hello. Okay, here we go. What we're gonna do is draw the treble staff. So that's gonna mean drawing the treble clef, that's that swirly looking thing. I'll show you how to draw it. And the staff, which means five lines and four spaces, okay? So let's start by drawing the staff first, the five lines and four spaces. So you're gonna take a piece of paper, right? And Instead of it being this way, I'm just using a random piece of paper I found. Instead of your paper being this way, turn it this way. So it's horizontal and not vertical, horizontal. See how my board is horizontal? Now, what we're gonna do is draw five lines and we wanna space them out so that we have plenty of space in between the lines because we're gonna be drawing some notes. So stay tuned for that. But let's start first with just drawing the five lines, okay? Here we go. So I'll just start right about here and feel free to go all the way, my lines are not gonna be very straight, I can already tell you that. Feel free to go all the way across the page. You know, see what I just did? You can do that, that's fine. And now I'm making a big space in between. We're gonna draw five lines. So if we have five lines, How many spaces are in between these lines? Let's count. One, two, three, four. You see that? So we have five lines. One, two, three, four, five, and four spaces. One, two, three, four. Staff, that's what this is called, a staff. Now let's draw the treble clef because this is the treble staff. So you're gonna go all the way to the left-hand side of your page and there are different ways you can draw this. You might see this, um, you know, in your workbooks or your music, drawn all fancy and swirly, but I like to keep it simple. There's no perfect way of doing this. So I found a kind of a really easy way and I'll show it to you right now. All you have to do is draw a line from, you know, you can draw it bottom to the top, top to the bottom, it doesn't matter. So all the way over here, I'm gonna draw a line like that, right? And then I'm gonna draw I'm gonna make what looks like a P, okay? Like the letter P, like this. See that? Kinda looks like this big, tall, narrow P. Then what I'm gonna do is when I get here, I'm gonna draw the number six, but I didn't quite finish it. That's kinda what treble clef looks like. So line up, make a P, keep going, number six. Okay, so I know that wasn't, perfect, but like I said, it doesn't need to be perfect. Now what we're going to do, so that's the treble clef. Now what we're going to do is draw a whole note, right? A whole note is just a circle and that equals four counts, but that doesn't matter right now. We're just going to draw a whole note on each line, kind of in a diagonal. I'll show you what I mean. So starting down here, See how the line cuts through the middle of the note? That's what you want. And then I'm just gonna go on each line and draw a whole note. See how I did that? So what we're gonna do now is see how we have the five notes? Now we're gonna label these notes. They each have a letter name. And I'm gonna show you just how to do that and how to remember what the letter names are. So this bottom one, I like to just write it right in the note capital E. Whenever you see a note on this line, it's going to be an E. It could be a half note, a quarter note, a whole note, still an E. If it's on this line, it's a G. If it's on this line, B. This line, D. And this final line is F. 
So I like to create my own sentence really, but the sentence that people usually use to remember from the bottom to the top, how to remember the names of these notes, every good boy deserves fudge. You can make up your own if you want. I've heard every great bear deserves forests. I've heard all sorts of things. I use the one every good boy deserves fudge. And to remember that, if you want, you can write it underneath, like just write the sentence out, every good boy deserves fudge, right? Or you can even just kind of write it in small letters, every good boy, right? You could do this, however you want to do it, deserves fudge. There we go. So now we know what any kind of note on these lines is going to be called. So those are the line notes. Now for the space notes. Same thing. See, I, I kind of, I should have shifted these over a little bit. <laughs> oh well. So now we have a note on each space. So it's just four, right? We had five lines, four spaces. I used whole notes again. Now, this is even easier to remember. All you have to do is remember the word face, okay? The word face, how do we spell face? F-A-C-E. So where this was a sentence, every good boy deserves fudge, all you have to do is just spell the word face from the bottom to the top, F-A-C-E. So now we know the letter names for all the lines and spaces for the treble clef. And if you don't, if you have a hard time remembering this, I'll spell it up here for you. It's T R E B L E. This is a treble clef. That thing right there. All right. So we did it. Treble clef, these are the notes. There's more where that came from. We'll do bass clef next, but for starters, that's how you do this. Let me know if you have any questions.